All right, so we have a light-footed clapperill here. This is one of the birds from our captive propagation reintroduction program here at the Chula Vista Nature Center. This is one of the most endangered coastal birds in all of California. They have a range from Santa Barbara down to the Tijuana U.S. border, and then a small population in Baja California itself. This is called a light-footed clapperill because when it steps and walks through the marsh, it takes very light ginger steps, so it looks like it's walking light-footedly. They've got long toes, which are nice to fan out and help them walk in the intertidal areas, such as the mud flats, and they walk across plants like pickleweed and cordgrass. They've got a very robust beak here. They use that for smashing crabs and other invertebrates found in the marsh. They're also capable of hunting fish. They generally are what we call opportunistic feeders. They'll feed on anything they can find in the marsh. We've seen them jumping and lunging at sparrows, but probably their predominant foods are going to be crabs and invertebrates found in the marsh. So this is a juvenile clap rail. It's got a grayish tinge on the flank here. When it's fully mature, it'll have a beautiful white barred striping on, on the rump area right here. They'll get much more orange in the front and a little bit on their head. This bird is about six weeks old. And what we're doing today is we're putting our birds, our young birds, in our Peruvian enclosure. We have several enclosures here built right on Sweetwater Marsh that we let these birds have the opportunity to learn how to be an adult clap rail, hunt, forage for the foods they need to find in the wild, and we just generally make sure they're ready for release. Can you leave it a little open? Oh, Thank you, that's pretty. Ah, oh, it's I don't know about you. <laughs> you scared the heck out of me. Little poop, too. It's the dark hair. But hey, you help, you help me find her for us. Gender. Take a look at the feet, thickness, length of toes, robustness of legs. I would guess this is a male. Okay. So just real quick, this is a juvenile light food clapper, part of the captive propagation program. They're about six weeks old today. They're almost full grown. The only thing they need to do as far as physical development is finish drawing in their wing feathers. So I would call this bird about 90% hard pen. You can see there are some blood feathers on the wings right here. So they're still growing those feathers in, but they're pretty much full grown. They'll gain a little more weight. If you stick them all the way down in there, it's going to speed on the bird foot. Pop them pretty good. Yellow weighs 350 grams, so that's very likely that is a male. It's a big clap rail for this age. Really nice common yellow throat. You want to uh, get in the enclosure and film us coming through the door? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Come on in and uh, just kneel down right here. Last person closes the door. Go a little bit further. Good. And Henry, what we're going to do is we're just going to open the boxes. We bury the forward corner into the ground. Open the bottom clasp. You want me to take one of yours? Yeah, let's try that one. I'm going to open that. So lean your box real forward. In your, go ahead and just open your lid and let the bird out. Lean your box forward like that. There they go. In the marsh. We, uh, we got five out, right? Yep. Excellent. 
they're a little nervous trying to figure out where they are. We'll respect that and get out of here. Since the goal of the Lightfooted Clapperill program is to release birds into the wild that will survive, we really like to make sure that they exhibit behaviors that are conducive to survival. So since we're taking captive reared birds that are going to go into the wild, we put them in an approving enclosure. When they're in this approving enclosure, we actually take careful notes about individual birds. We watch for behaviors to make sure they know how to forage, know how to hunt and eat a crab. We make sure that they hide when they see raptors because those are their natural predators. And the approving enclosure and our, our observation protocol really are important in making sure that we release the best birds we can into the wild.